Hey, welcome back everyone. It's me, Mr. 4 Chaos Scaler. I want to show you something very interesting. Uh, there's this app called Insects. It's a app demo that's about 1.2 gigabytes in size. It's a free app demo that's only available obviously on Xbox One X. And what it does, it's a uh, enhanced 4K HDR experience. Uh, basically what this app does it shows you the quality of HDR on your TV when it's turned on and then when you don't have HDR how much of that quality is being stripped down and how much of a loss you have without HDR and of course without 4k resolution uh, they also show you the key points on where the uh, peak brightness is the highest and why the peak brightness it's important and then they also show you the Y color palette you know Y color gamut and how much of that you're losing if you don't have a proper white color gamut so anyway without me just talking about it why don't I just click play and why don't I just show you here it is it's uh, insects by the way I'm using my TCL P55, P605, 55 inch TCL. Alright, there's the insects. It's already in HDR. Uh, this thing uses native 4K and HDR to show the demo. It's done by Unreal Engine and powered by Wise. I purposely brought my camera a little bit closer and uh, I'm recording this in 1080p, not in 1440p, so that way I can uh, have YouTube process this video faster. Alright, so here it is. This guided tour highlights uh, your experience is enhanced with 4K Ultra HD high dynamic range and spatial spat audio. 4K rendering creates images with lifelike detail by using four times the pixel. So what they're basically doing here, they're just educating you. If you're a newcomer and you don't understand how 4K works, this is pretty much what they're trying to do. Uh, they're trying to educate regular Marys and regular Joes. And, and you clearly can see the difference here on just how much are you losing when the 4K Ultra HD it's turned off and when it's turned on like here for example as well uh, developers can take advantage of 4K rendering increasing memory size and bandwidth on Xbox One X with larger texture resolutions alright high resolution textures increased draw distance and detail 3D models make the most of 4k rendering on the xbox one x when it's turned on so you see not only are you getting a higher resolution but you're also getting a checkered boarding what they just talked about here they're talking about the checkered boarding the 3d rendering checkered boarding with the resolution and the 3d so that way the higher textures are sharper along with the dynamic along with the checkerboard resolution that they're using here's a good example of hdr on and HDR off you can see the peak brightness much higher now once the HDR it's on this is just the beginning the demo that they're showing you uh, what you are missing and uh, like here for example here's a HDR off. Now with AC, with HDR off, you're just getting a bland, bleak picture on that bug. Now with HDR on, you're getting the white color gamut. See, turning on HDR with the white color gamut, see how the colors become deeper. So what they're doing here, they're teaching you why those three elements are so important. Why HDR, high resolution 4K, and white color gamut why those three are very important.
and here on the right side you have 4, 4k ultra hd where you can turn that on and off so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna turn that off let's see what happens when i turn the uh hdr off let's turn hdr off you see when you turn the hdr off you see how much right now you're losing And look when you turn the HDR on, look at the, the white color gamut and peak brightness. Okay, let's turn that off. You see, it's bleak. Now you turn it back on, you see how orange it is. Turn it off. I'll keep turning it off and on. So you guys see uh, what I'm talking about. See, now HDR it's on with peak brightness. Now it's off. Now it's on. Now it's off, now it's on. Now it's off, now it's on. You see that bug, is it's rendered much better with deep colors. Okay, let's turn off the resolution and HDR. So now I have the resolution and HDR turned off. Okay, let's turn the HDR back on. Let's get the resolution 4K. See, when you turn to 4K resolution, you get that much better detail. Sharper detail. Now you add HDR, and you got white color gamut, along with the uh, peak brightness. All right, so this is a very unique, cool app that I... Here, here's a... Hold on, let's pause it. Let's pause it right here, and let's, let's do this demo. This is how we're going to do it right now. I'm going to pause it right here, and... Uh, I want you guys to keep a keep an eye on here HDR and then 4K. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn off HDR. And I want you just to pay attention on the bug and on the uh the flower that he is on. Just pay attention on how much of detail of color, white color gamut you're going to lose and peak brightness. Two things will happen here. The white color gamut will be stripped off and peak brightness will be stripped off. Pay attention. I'm gonna turn it off right now. Did you notice that? Everything is bleak right now, okay? You just lost that white color gamut. It's being stripped off and you also lost that peak brightness. So now you are without white color gamut and peak brightness. And this is what we've been watching before HDR. So we were missing so much. Now look when I turn it back on. Look how much peak brightness and color gamut it's going to uh, enhance the, the picture quality. And this is why uh, I also want to mention something else. This is why... QLED, it's not the one that's being released right now with the Q7F. I'm talking about uh, the newer versions of QLED in 2018 that are, that are going to be released. The thinner, the real QLEDs, the ones that are going to be able to reach up to 3,000 nits of peak brightness with much, much wider color gamut. Okay. Okay, let's turn it back on. And look what happens. Look how much of that white color gamut you're going to get. Look at that white color gamut and peak brightness. Look at that. Look at that. Look what, what you just gained here. Okay, let, let's continue. Let's start playing. Okay, let's pause it here. Same thing here. Look what happens when I turn off HDR. I just lost the peak brightness. I just uh, lost the uh, color gamut. It looks crappy. Look what happens when I turn it back on. And I keep turning it. I'll, I'll keep doing this for a few seconds so you can see the difference. It's on, off. On, off. On, off. On, off. Now look when I strip down the resolution. Look what happened when I strip down the resolution everything will become more softer it's not going to be sharper look at this 4k resolution native 4k off 
Did you notice that? Everything's uh, softer. It's not sharper. And look when you turn off the uh, resolution back on. Everything is sharper. Softer, sharper, softer, sharper. You just realize, now you realize why these three elements, native 4K and HDR, I mean, native 4K resolution, white color gamut, and peak brightness are so important. Okay? And look, I love OLED. I, I think OLED is a great TV, but OLED still doesn't have that peak brightness needed to be really uh, that top of the line perfect TV, all right? 700 nits, it's just not going to cut it, man. 780, even 800 nits, it's just not going to cut it. All right, you got to go above 1,000 to even 1,300 to 1,400 to truly get that white color gamut with peak brightness. I personally think QLED with their new QLED panels, if they can manage that full array of local dimming with much higher local dimming zones, and then if they can reach that peak brightness to 3,000 nits with a much wider color gamut, I think those will, will be the, the best 4K TVs out there. There you're truly going to enjoy HDR and Dolby Vision the way it was meant to be enjoyed. All right, let's turn everything back on. Let's turn the uh, HDR and resolution. So now you realize, see, if I turn the resolution off, HDR and peak brightness and color gamut will be present, but you're going to be losing that sharpness of detail. Look, when I turn the uh, native 4K off. All right, and look when I turn it back on. Like, you see those drops right here? Like... You weren't able to see them perfectly, but now you're going to see them when I turn it back on. Look. There. All right, let's continue. Oh, this, this is a good, uh, good pause right here. Let's uh, turn the AGR off. I mean, look, it's just, it, I think I already show, I proved this to you on one of the videos on Call of Duty and uh, Gran Turismo Sport. I think I already showed you what happens when the white collar gamut and peak brightness being stripped off. And this is exactly what happens. And look when you turn it back on. I mean, it's like night and day. Now it's off. Now it's on. Now it's off. Now it's on. And clearly you can see it. You can, you can see it even through this camera. You can see just how much you're missing. And I realized that. I, you know, honestly, before I started this channel a, a year ago, I didn't realize just how important HDR was. But now, since I've been doing this for a year, almost a year and a half, I've been doing this channel for a year and a half. I realize just how important that HDR is. It is so important, man. So important. But so is the uh, resolution as well, of course. You know, you know. look, the HDR will still make peak brightness and color pop, okay? But the picture imagery will not be sharp once you don't have that true native 4K. Once you have that true native 4K, voila, look at that. Look at the pixels being represented. Clearly, you get to see everything that needs to be seen. And look when you turn them off. Look how much you just lost. And look when you turn it back on. Everything becomes sharper. Especially right here. You can keep an eye right here in the middle. And you'll see that. It's off. Images are softer, they're not detailed, they're not sharper because you got less pixels and now you put them on, you got higher pixels. Four times of that 1K, you're getting 4K. 
right there. All right, let's continue. Oh, uh, here's a good one right here. Here's a good one, right? The peak brightness. Uh, this is a good one, good example right here. Look what happens when you turn off HDR. I mean, you lost, you just lost your peak brightness and white collar gamut. So right now, you know, uh, it looks bleak. It looks as if uh, somebody turned the brightness and there's no contrast there's there's no depth of field like you know it, it's unnatural see what what you're seeing right now it's unnatural picture and look when you turn the hdr on see this is why peak brightness it's really that important and look at that this is a natural peak brightness you're getting here not only do you see that peak brightness but you see it in the detail with that white color palette of gamut okay you 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 are getting the peak brightness naturally detailed here with whatever this tv has 750 nits of peak brightness and on top of that you're getting the white collar gamut and look what happens when you turn that off look at that it looks horrible and look when you turn it back on Look at the detail. Okay, this is natural. This is how it should look when you're staring at the sun. Like if you were laying on the ground on this grass and you were looking at the uh, the sun and these bugs flying around, this is exactly what you would see. And when you turn it off, well, this is not natural. This is not natural. And look what happens when you turn the uh, f when you turn everything off when you're just watching standard. Look at this. Oh, it's god awful. But this is what we used to watch back in the days. And I'm really glad that Microsoft has included this app called Insects because this is really going to help you. And this is what I was trying to do in my videos. Uh, you know, when you go see these professionals, they use technical language. And if you are the beginner, if you are a new guy, then you have no idea what that technical language is, okay? So, this is a great way for the newcomers, people who just made a transition from 1K into a 4K and HDR. And I think this is a great way for... All of you who want to make a transition this holiday season, this Christmas, uh, going into New Year 2018, this is a great tool with the Xbox One X uh, for you to experience and learn about uh, the difference between 1K and 4K and why the native 4K is so important. Look at, the, look at the detail you've just gotten with the native 4K. And look what you lose when you turn it off. And look what you get when you turn it back on. Like keep 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 eye right here on my finger. Look now it's on eighty four k and look when I turn it off. Become softer. And now it becomes more vivid, with detail because you got more pixels. And then of course when you add HDR with the peak brightness and wider color gamut. There you go, voila. So this is what you're missing. All right, let's continue. I want to see if I can find uh, another good one. Here's another good one right here. This is a, this is another great example right here. Uh, turning the HDR off, it's going to be obvious. And turning the HDR back on, it, it's clear as a day. I'll keep doing this so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Keep an eye on the HDR yellow being turned on and off right over here where my finger is, you see it right there? Off HDR, on HDR. Off HDR, on HDR. Off HDR, on HDR. 
And now look what happens when you turn off the HDR off and the resolution of native 4K. It just looks soft, uh, blurry. It's just not good. And look when you turn the resolution on. Sharper, more vivid detail because you got a lot of pixels. And then you have peak brightness now with the HDR of white color gamut. Voila. And even here, obviously, you know, HDR here, especially in this scene, turning the HDR off, you're going to lose the uh, peak brightness big time. You see, you just lost that peak brightness. Turn it back on, you just... You just gained the peak brightness. See right here. So, I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and uh, use this tool, this insects app. Uh, it's free. It's on the uh, Microsoft Store. You just search for it, insects, and it will pop for you, and you can download it. And I highly recommend that you that you use it. It's definitely uh, worth it. Actually, I gotta give a shout out to somebody. Um, I don't know who told me about this, but there was somebody. Whoever you are, uh, please identify yourself on the comments down below. Uh, I forgot your name, but one of you actually told me about this app and uh, I remember that I was like you know someone mentioned this to me this app called insects hmm, let's go check it out so whoever you are thank you for letting me know uh, it's, it's a great value for me to show it to you and it's also a great tool for those of you who want to transition into a 4k I still have a brother who still hasn't transitioned into 4k he has no clue about the 4k and the HDR and how important the HDR is and how much of a difference the 4K native and HDR makes. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get him into this. I'm trying to kind of like show him why it's important. And I think for those of you who are stepping into 4K and HDR this holiday season, Xbox One X is the greatest uh, device that you can buy with your TV. Because uh, with, with Xbox One X, you're going to have everything. You're going to have 4K streaming. You're going to have 4K movies in HDR. So it's a package 4K machine. All right. And on top of that here, they're giving you this great tool called Insects. And I highly encourage you, when you purchase your Xbox One X, let this be your first demo so you can get understanding of why HDR plays a huge role and why native 4K plays a huge role as well. Those two elements are very important. I call them three elements because I split them in three. I split, I split them in high resolution, higher pixel ratio, which is uh, 4K, and peak brightness with wide color gamut. All right, and those three elements are very important. They need each other. Okay. And look right here. Look at the peak brightness here. It's just it's gone. Turn it back on. It's back on. And you turn the uh, the HDR. Well, like I said, you're gonna lose the peak brightness and the color. So you see what a huge role HDR plays here. Not only are you losing that peak brightness of detail, and when we're talking about a peak brightness of detail. It's very important that you understand we're not talking about peak brightness that will blind you where you can't see nothing. We're not talking about that kind of, it's not like a contrast being moved all the way high. It's a detailed, balanced contrast ratio that you're getting here, okay? That's what it does. That's what they mean by the peak brightness luminous light, all right? It has to be detailed properly you cannot have that HDR slider of peak brightness all the way up it has to be a certain level okay all right let's continue and same thing here 
turning resolution on and off, turning the AGR off, you just see how much you lose right here. Not having that peak brightness, not having that white collar gamut, you know, you realize why it's so important. Okay, now let's go back to the menu really quick here. Let's see. Uh, there's many different things here. You can have HDR split screen if you want. You can do that if you want to. So people can see the difference. You can also have the white collar gamut. You can uh, turn that uh, on so that way people can see that the, how important the uh, white collar gamut is. And what this does basically, it shows exactly where the white collar gamut is on each individual scene. So, you know, th there's uh, a lot of different options here on this uh, insects. On this insects uh, app, and I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and uh, that you uh, go ahead and download it and check it out. Uh, really, this is a perfect example of how much you are missing here. Like right here, I can position this. Uh, bug right here and you will see just how much you're missing when you turn off HDR and how much are you gaining when you turn it back on. You see like on the right side this is without HDR and on the left side this is when you have HDR on okay and it's a great it's a great uh, tool to use it's the same thing here you realize just how much you're missing when you have HDR off and when you have HDR on so there you have it. This is Insects app. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this half an hour. You know, I can go on and on talking about how important HDR is and how important resolution is. So this is what you're getting with the Xbox One X. You know, it's just a great tool, tutorial for you to learn if you're the new beginner on native 4K and HDR and why it's so important. All right, so today we're going to do, tonight we'll do some tests. We'll do a, first video we'll do is Gears of War 4, my first impressions. And then we're going to go ahead, on the second video after that, I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, Gears of War to my FreeSync LG UD69P FreeSync 4K monitor. I'll connect my Xbox One X on that as well. So there's plenty of videos coming, so stay tuned. Uh, there's so much for me to do. This will be a long process, guys. But there's so many videos that are coming for the Xbox One X. Everything will be covered in due time, okay? So thank you for watching. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. 4K Upscaler. And uh, if you already have your Xbox One X, I highly recommend that you go ahead and uh, download this app it's 1.2 gigabyte it's definitely worth it it's free and it's a great tool for you to learn and understand why HDR is so important okay it could also be used as a calibration as well to calibrate your TV honestly if you want to so definitely a useful tool all right guys so there you have it hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you tonight with uh, Gears of War 4 first impression and then uh, Gears of War 4 being connected through my LG UD69P FreeSync 4K monitor Xbox One X supports FreeSync. Uh, we're also going to cover the 4K capture uh, direct 4K capture 
from the games as well. That's going to be coming up on Friday as well. All right, there's plenty of videos coming, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take care.